Marathon season is upon us and lots of runners will be lacing up soon to take on 26.2 miles. You've done all the hard work in training, you've hit the taper period and there's just seven days to go. But what do you do now? Well, fear not because Manny and I are here to run you through what you need to do the week before your marathon. Whether this is your first or 15th, there's useful info hidden in here for everyone. So stay tuned for some handy marathon week tips. Let's talk about training in the week before the marathon. What types of runs should you be doing? In our marathon training plan, which you can download on our website for free, the final week of training looks like this. Monday, it's a rest day. Tuesday's a 30 minute easy run. On Wednesday, there's a 30 minute easy run followed by four times 100 meter stride. Thursday is another rest day. Friday is what some people will call a shakeout run. So a pre-race run consisting of 1K at easy pace, 3K at your goal marathon pace, and then 1K at easy pace. And then the race day is on the weekend. The key things to do in this final training week are easy runs and a final bit of practice at race pace. No interval training or threshold runs, just simple training to keep your legs ticking over. Doing a final run at race pace will help solidify the pace in your mind and your legs. So hopefully come race day, if you're going for a specific time or PB, the race will come naturally and you'll be able to feel the speed. In the final week, you don't want to burn yourself out, but you also want to keep moving and don't shut down altogether. So keeping those runs in will help take the edge off any nervous energy you may have and give you some structure to your week. However, don't turn this into an epic week of training or go too crazy with a walking tour of the city you're running in. Some marathons, like London, have big expos leading up to the race. These are great to go to and usually you need to pick your number up. They're really fun, but be warned, don't make the mistake of walking too much at the expo and don't be tempted to buy anything that you're going to use for the first time in the race. Remember, nothing new on race day. Now onto a really easy tip, sleep. The night before, you might be a bit nervous or could be staying somewhere new, which disrupts your sleep. Or you might have to wake up really early to race. So banking some good sleep in the lead up to the marathon will put you in a great place. It's completely normal to toss and turn the night before a big race. So try not to worry if this happens and plan ahead to make sure you get an early night and good quality sleep in the previous few nights. Use the taper period to prioritize rest and recovery. Routine is really important as well. Try and get in a good sleep routine. Go to bed at the same time each night and regularly set your alarm at the time you will have to wake up for the race so that it's less of a shock to the system. Also try and get some good sleeping habits. For example, not using your phone or other screens before bed, avoiding caffeine and alcohol past 2 p.m. and try not to exercise too late as well as this will make it harder to get off to sleep. Next up, a marathon buzz phrase, carb loading. Yeah, not everyone likes to carb load before a marathon and it is down to personal preference, but taking on some extra carbs in the week leading up to your race can help replenish your glycogen stores. Yes, your body uses glycogen for energy during endurance running. So you need to make sure your glycogen stores are stocked up ready for race day. Absolutely. Now you don't need to go crazy on this. In fact, because you'll be in a taper period, this means you'll be using up less stored glycogen than you usually would. So a bit extra with your meals in the last 48 hours before the race will be enough. Don't go all out on pizza and pasta with every meal though, or you might end up feeling a little bit rough on race day. Because we sweat a lot during a marathon, even if it's a chilly day, people assume that they need to double and sometimes even triple their water intake in the days leading up to the race. But unlike glycogen, there is a limit to how much fluid the body can store daily. And there is always a risk of overhydrating, so do be sensible. No one likes going to the toilet over 10 times a day, so use the pee color test to make sure you get it right. You're looking for a pale straw color. There is some evidence that shows sodium preloading can be a good way of retaining more water in the lead up to race day. This means if you increase your sodium intake in the 24 hours before the start of your marathon, for example, with a high sodium sports drink, you may be able to hold on to more fluid. The evidence for this is still relatively new though. So the key thing is to be sensible and try and strike the right balance of hydration, both in the lead up to and during the race itself. 
The last thing you want on race day is any nasty surprises, so make sure you've planned. Planned? And planned again! Yeah, if possible, go and check out the course, or at least do some research into the terrain or the route. Check the weather forecast, make sure that you've got the right kit for the conditions on race day too. If you have a running number, do you need to pick it up from the expo? Or can you expect it to arrive in the post? Where are the toilets? Where are the aid stations? Where are the car parks? Will it be cold? And when and where do you have to drop off your bags? Do you have enough clothing to stay warm after the race? And can you leave it somewhere? You get so many questions to answer. If you're getting the train in, make sure you've booked your ticket and you know how long it's going to take you to get from the station to the start area. When it gets to race day, you want to go into the race as relaxed as you can. And planning is the best way to do that. Apart from training, of course. Well, yeah. And leave plenty of time to do everything too. And maybe a little bit extra just for faffing. If you give yourself more time than you need, then you'll be able to deal with any hiccups with ease and race day won't be stressful. Running a marathon takes a lot of training and time. But by race week, the training is done. There's not a lot more physically that you can work on. Now it's time for the mental preparation. Take a few minutes each day to sit quietly and visualize yourself at each section of the race, especially crossing that finish line. This journey through the race will help you come marathon day when you start to struggle. Also, think about some mantras which could get you through tough parts of the race. Personally, mine is a smile a mile. Are there any that have helped you get through the longer training runs? Take a look at what your favorite runners or celebrity heroes use. There's nothing better than borrowing a good phrase for a tough race. I also like Steve Ways. Don't be Focus on all of the reasons you're excited to run and the reasons that you'll run well. Now isn't the time to obsess over anything that's gone wrong in the build-up. Look to the future and focus on the exciting positives for race day. It's the day before the race. What do you do? You might do the final run we mentioned earlier, or you might have done that yesterday. Well, yeah, but either way, Relax, you've done all the hard work. Now it's time to try and enjoy the marathon experience and trust in your training. That's right, help yourself out by laying your kit out the night before and pinning your number to your top and get everything ready that you're taking with you. That is such good advice, Manny. And then it's time to just chill. Maybe watch some running channel videos. Great idea. What's your favorite running channel video, Anna? Oh, good question, Manny. I think it's the one where Andy discusses his dream mile with his coach. I love that video, it gets me every time. Amazing. What's your favorite? My favorite is actually Sarah doing her first ever marathon. Yeah, how inspirational. Such a great video to watch the night before your marathon. I've got your guys back. How about you guys? What's your favorite running channel video? Let us know in the comments which one and why. And you might help some other runners find something to watch before their marathon. Also, while you're here, have you subscribed yet? It really helps us out, so please do click that button. <laughs>